Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Mithra newsletter, this time for March 2021. Now, before we jump in, I just did want to say I do apologize that we're having sort of a string of unscripted videos uh, right now. If you aren't sort of up to date with what's going on in my personal life, I am moving into a new house. So I've actually gone ahead and preemptively uploaded videos. And so Thursday, we had the Kindred Fates newsletter. Friday, we had the Druggymon Showcase. Today for you guys is Saturday. It's actually March 3rd for me while I'm recording this. Uh, is the Mithrin Showcase. And then Sunday, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna what I'm gonna put there, but it's probably gonna be something unscripted as well because Monster Tamer News is gonna get moved to Monday. Anyway, long story short, moving sucks, but we will be back to our regularly scheduled content uh, moving forward. So generally expect, if you're new to the channel and didn't know, generally expect about three uh, more essay style, more edited, scripted videos. Uh, if you're not into the highly uh, unedited stuff, uh, definitely check out the Pokemon video I made on Wednesday or Monster Tamer News or This Month in Monster Taming or w any of the other videos I came out with last week. I, I did a ton. But anyways, let's jump into this. And I've already seen this trailer, but I haven't read the newsletter yet. But we got the reveal of Radlad in Mithrin. Now, if you don't know, Mithrin is a monster raising, uh, I, I guess it's a, an uh, open world sort of RPG uh, it's basically, if you're a fan of the Monster Rancher series, you're going to be a fan of Mithrin. It's kind of uh, uh, inspired by the uh, by the former there. But anyway, uh, let, let, let's just get into it. So the Radlad trailer. We're sure you're looking forward to our first character reveal trailer. Later today, we will be releasing the trailer. If you're reading this uh, later, the video will be linked below. Come on over to YouTube, and it already has been revealed, as you know. And this is heavily inspired by the, the sort of Super Smash reveals uh, that, that you generally see. So this is actually kind of cool. Check it out. Let's watch it on YouTube for better quality. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so this is a spot. Yep, just focus your energy there and the portal should unlock. How do you know to do this anyways? Details, details. Let's hurry up and meet him already. <laughs> okay, okay. Characters are a lot more expressive than I remember. This is awesome. <laughs> Their face is like, uh, what? Rad lad slides in. <laughs> you see some of the combat here. Smacking that boy up. Oh, are these showcasing... Hold on a second. Are these showcasing, like, different skins you can get for your monsters? Because that's friggin' hype. I, I I did notice he looked a little different. I was like, oh, maybe that's a shiny. But then you have a... You have a red one. Oh, or is this the evolved? Because I know he has a, he has a form that's uh, awakened. But it doesn't look to be the awakened form. Interesting. Ooh, yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. So these are like skins like in Smash, I'm guessing? I love the fact that he can slide around. I think I think the fact that he can slide around is gonna make him a really interesting, um, a really interesting player to work with. Like, Mithrin's gonna kind of play, uh, from what it looks like anyway, sort of like a mix between Clash of the Ninja, like Naruto, if you've ever played that, and like Ultimate Ninja Storm. So it's gonna be nice to be able to move around the, the battlefield really fast. Um, let's see, coming to Kickstarter on April 13th. So we'll definitely have the devs on again for a podcast. Uh, I haven't set anything up yet, but I know uh, Zane's definitely willing and we'll try to get John on again too. Um, yeah, this is exciting. So, so um, if you... Check out their, uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure if they have a actual link to their Kickstarter just yet. Like to, no, they don't. Okay. You can check out their discord and stuff. I'll leave that linked in the description. Uh, and I'm assuming, I, I guess they didn't put a link to their, like you could like, uh, sign up to get notified with Kickstarter, but I believe they're, they're not at that point yet. But anyway, April 13th is when the Kickstarter is going to launch and, uh, we're definitely going to look into what kind of rewards and stuff they have definitely expect something like that so anyway 
uh, progress. Zane uh, finished up the Rad Lad, Rad Lad rig, working on updating the Kickstarter page and edited the trailer together. John has continued to tune Rad Lad's combat design and has been working tirelessly on the short cutscene that plays prior to his reveal. Um, Mika, Micah, has been working on adding a Mithrin section to our website alongside other small tweaks and fixes to the website. He also helped out on the audio editing of the trailer. Mejanot has been continuing to update old tracks with the new saxophone, two of which you hear in the trailer. Yeah, I, I did notice it sounds a little bit different. After playing through Persona 5 Royal, uh, uh, Javon, Javon, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any of the names wrong, uh, names wrong guys, uh, gained a better sense of what Zane and John were looking for in our single player story experience alongside having uh, a reference to how we designed our social simulation side of the game. Aiden has started working on updating our movement system in the overworld. He has added in sliding down cliffs that are too steep to walk up. A fun slide Kea can perform in the overworld to aid platforming and getting around. And finally, um, coyote time. Uh, a mechanic that gives you a little bit of an extra chance to jump after leaving an edge in the overworld. Okay. Uh, community. This month, we expect to see live streams of Zane working on various aspects about the game, such as modeling. He'll be streaming on uh, the Small Leaf Studio Studios Twitch page. I'll leave that linked in the description too, guys. Uh, we will be having a second newsletter. That, ooh, a second newsletter this month co uh, covering both combat and how Rad Lad functions in game. On Twitter, uh, we shared these cute little Valentine's Day cards. Uh, I remember that. Uh, community uh, member Barry Bandit created this this Rad Mithrin desktop paper. Oh, I didn't know Barry actually created that. Nice, man. Uh, oh, here we go. The, the, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw that peeking in a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for uh, reading. We'll see you next month on April 2nd, where we'll go further into the upcoming Kickstarter shortly before its launch. Alongside that, here's a look at one of the plushes, which will be one of the few... Okay. <laughs> Getting a plushie. I need this. I, I need I need a big monster taming collection. Like, okay, it's easy to go find Pokemon plushies, but to get like a plushie for Kindred Fates, which I'm still to this day sad I didn't get an Auburn plushie. If anybody ever wants to sell their Auburn plushie, I'll literally pay you like twice what it's worth for it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I made sure to get an Ova Magica plushie and the cards. Uh, I'm getting the Sky Climbers plushie, the Chain Monsters plushie. Like, I'm just trying to get as many physical monster taming rewards as I possibly can. I'm working on my. Uh, on my collection you got to catch them all right but uh yeah so that's pretty much it for the newsletter it was a rather short newsletter but coupled with the uh trailer we got i i, I mean i think it's uh i think it's justified that it's, it's it's shorter considering all the work that went into that trailer you you can you can tell like that that just that intro cutscene was probably a crap ton of editing like i can only imagine uh anyway uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about uh, the upcoming Kickstarter. If you want to see any more Mithrin content, uh, I will link a Mithrin playlist in the description. I have done a, a few videos covering Mithrin. We've been covering Mithrin since uh, I found out about it in Monster Tamer News and stuff like that. So definitely, uh, if you are interested in the project, subscribe to stay up to date on everything that's going on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.